Hello everyone, Plant Assassin here. I'm in the foothills above Boise, and I'm actually out here looking for a Siberian pea tree, but I haven't been able to find it. Instead, I found the net leaf hackberry. So this is a similar plant to the common hackberry. The differences are the leaves are smaller, but they are still asymmetrical and it's also a lot shorter. So this tree is probably about 12 feet tall and the net leaf hackberry can also withstand much more drought than the common hackberry can. So the fruit on it is a little bit smaller and it is uh, also prone to the nipple leaf gall that the common hackberry is prone to so you can also use that as an identifying feature. So you want to pick the orange fruit that doesn't have blemishes on it. The fruit is actually a droop so it has a thin mealy layer over the nut, but the mealy layer and the nut are both edible. Okay, you can get it. All right, so here you can see the gall that's on the leaf. And it infects most of the leaves, just like on the common hackberry. So when I say dry, this is the type of climate that these net leaf hackberries are growing in. So the foothills are very dry most of the year except for in the spring when they get moisture. I was just walking by the trail here and I was looking at this globs of currant fruit. I thought wow that's odd that there's currants this late in the year. If you look this fruit's actually been scorched. So, 4th of July, we had a big fire up here because some idiot was up here shooting off mortars, which is illegal for obvious reasons. The fire burnt up to that spot right there, all the way down over here. This little currant bush had fruit on it and the fruit got cooked and it's just hollow and birds aren't even bothering to touch it so that's uh, one of the problems with uh, fires up here in the foothills so here's another net leaf hackberry that's a little ways down the trail this one doesn't have ripe fruit on it, and it is a little bit taller than the other one. So when we compare the leaves of the netleaf hackberry to that of the common hackberry, See, they're similar. They're asymmetrical. I have the point. Some people say that you can look at the the veins on the bottom because this is why it's called the net leaf hackberry because the veins are supposed to be more prominent. In my observation, they're just about as prominent on the 
common hackberry as they are on the netleaf hackberry but the main difference is the size so you can see that in comparison the leaves are going to be smaller overall I can just cover up that completely hide these smaller leaves so if we take the fruit and compare those see the fruit on the common hackberry now this is not a ripe fruit here but it's almost ripe it's going to be a little bit bigger so you know you might think the common hackberry is going to be better but the netleaf hackberry it's going to be easier to get to the fruit so and so here's the fruit that I collected last night so I'm gonna dry this and uh, go from there so I've never dried the hackberry fruit before but apparently it's fairly easy you just lay it out on a like a cookie sheet and leave it out for about a week so some of these I'll keep for seed some of them um, will be used in recipes so I've got a couple recipes that I kind of want to try so we will see how those go so check back for some update on hackberry cooking